everyone, my name is Charlotte Reed and I am the author and illustrator of a book called May the Thoughts Be With You and also another book called My Path to Happy and I'm here today um, to talk to you all about mental health. Um, I'm sure you all know it's Mental Health Awareness Week and um, I just wanted to have a conversation about this because I think it's really important to have um, or to raise awareness about mental ill health and to try and reduce the stigma associated with it. We've come a long way and we're, we're now having more conversations about mental health but there's still more that can be done. So I hope my talk today will be inspiring and also give you hope um, that if you're going through something similar that you can actually recover because um, I went through depression, um, it was about 10 years ago now and it lasted for two years and um, you know, I got better, so I'm, I'm hoping that my um, story can give you that hope to, to believe that you can recover too. Um, some of you might already know who I am because I was um, in Psychology's magazine, it's the June issue, which is out now, and um, they did a really lovely feature on me. Uh, they came to my market stall on Portobello Road where I'm now selling my books and artwork and um, asked me sort of you know lots of questions about how I recovered from depression so I thought it'd be nice to share those tips with you here today. Um, funnily enough I actually decided not to take medication to get better not because I've got any um, anything against medication I actually uh, think it's very crucial in many cases, but for me personally, I didn't want to, to go down that route. Um, I'm quite a sort of natural person. I'm, I'm sort of, the, you know, the person who will only take a painkiller if it's absolutely necessary. And I try sort of more holistic methods to sort of um, keep healthy. So I wanted to explore that route first before going straight to medication. And, and luckily I did actually manage to get better. As I say, it took, um, it took about two years, so probably probably longer than if I had actually gone on medication. But uh, you know, as I say, I did manage to recover naturally. Um, so to to talk about the experience, um, well, just to give you a sort of brief summary of what depression feels like to start with. Um, I mean, the only way you can describe it is this, as if you've been sort of hit by a bus, or your emotions have been hit by a bus, and it. it for me, it came on very suddenly. I was not really um, expecting it, although I hadn't been particularly happy anyway in my life. I was sort of working in a job I didn't particularly enjoy, but it kind of crept up on me very sort of suddenly. And the only way I can describe the feeling is if, imagine somebody knocked on your door one day and said, um, oh, there's been a coach crash and everyone you love has died on the on in the crash and imagine that sort of pain you would feel that that grief and that sorrow and uh, so that's the actual physical feeling of what depression feels like just utter grief and despair and and sadness like deep deep sadness and um, it's sort of coupled often it sort of coexists with anxiety as well and I had this very um, strange sensation that you know that there was almost somebody like trying to strangle me all the time like there was somebody's hands around my neck almost all like even like a cheese wire cutting through my neck it was a very physical sensation and also that I had you know um, somebody like an axe murder running after me in the street all the time and I couldn't escape those feelings of anxiety it was terror that that's the only way to describe it and it existed all the time it never went away uh, I even felt the sensation in my sleep because my dreams were kind of peppered with that feeling um, and my vision was also altered as I looked through my eyes um, everything felt very far away disconnected almost like I was looking at a photograph of life like I wasn't really involved in it and I, I felt like I was out of my body um, that everything felt 2d not 3d um, I've later discovered that that sensation is called depersonalization disorder, which is another mental um, uh, sort of condition where you, your, your mental state is altered and you start to experience life as if it's a dream and not really real. Um, so I was dealing with, with three issues at the time. And um, I went to see my GP and obviously he immediately diagnosed me with depression, anxiety, tried, you know, offered me medication and I um, decided to, to try these holistic methods first. So 
if I can just talk about those, um, you know, briefly, just so it gives you a bit of um, an idea of what I did. So the first thing I did was I started having um, regular acupuncture, and that really helped because the acupuncturist was talking to me about my um, experience as well as using the sort of needles to to relieve the, the sort of emotional um, feelings associated with depression. Um, I had that for, for two years and I did find it very, very helpful, very therapeutic. Um, I also visited a place called the Brain Bio Centre and they tested me for all the sort of vitamins and minerals I might be lacking that can lead to uh, mental ill health and sure enough they found some um, imbalances that needed to be corrected with high dose vitamin and mineral supplements so that was really crucial to my recovery as well. I started exercising every single day um, prior to the depression I hadn't um, I'd, I'd never been somebody who really liked to exercise I'd you know never really bothered to do it so I started power walking for an hour and a half every single day and um, that that really sort of helped to get my uh, endorphins going and um, I started to really look at what I was eating as well because um, you know I, I used to exist on things like um, you know pre-bought sandwiches or microwave meals and I realized that I wasn't giving myself the correct nutrition to sort of you know give all myself the nutrients that my brain would need to function uh, healthily so I started um, cooking food from scratch and only using like really healthy ingredients like you know things like brown rice instead of white rice having loads of good fats taking um, you know fish oil supplements um, having loads of fruit and vegetables and eating at regular times as well because when your blood sugar is out of um, you know if you're not eating at regular intervals and your blood sugar is all over the place and that affects your mood so I was eating every three hours I ate loads of protein and I um, I uh, cut out all stimulants like um, caffeine, uh, sugar, and um, and alcohol as well. That was a big one, big thing for me. And you know, the thing is, when when you're trying to recover from depression, it, it's kind of like you need an eight pronged attack. There's not just one route to getting better. There's there's many things that you can do to give yourself the best chance of recovery. So I would say that if you do, do decide to take medication then brilliant but make sure you do these lifestyle changes alongside as well to give yourself the best uh, the biggest hope of, of recovery um, and another thing I actually did was I started sort of journaling and writing my thoughts down and, and my worries and my, and my concerns and writing down the terrible feelings I was having and that, that definitely helped as well so it's kind of like all these different things that you can that you can do to sort of um, put yourself on that path to recovery and another thing is you know you should be taking all pressure off yourself because you know I used to think all the time oh I'm not getting better I'm not getting better and and it would I didn't realize that the recovery would be a two step forward one step back kind of approach that some days would be better than others and some days I think oh I'm almost back to normal and then other days I feel back in that dark place again so it kind of was a it's it's never sort of a simple route it kind of comes and goes and eventually it stabilizes and um, so as I was doing the journaling and sort of writing down my thoughts and feelings uh, one idea came to me and that was to start writing a little positive message to myself um, every morning like a little thought of the day to keep myself motivated and I um, started posting that as my um, as my personal Facebook status so my friends could could read it as well and um, that that started to really sort of take off and, and, and having my friends involved really helped me um, keep going doing that and sort of having their support was was really lovely as well and after a while um, the the thoughts the thought of the day that I was writing on Facebook really sort of took off and my friends started saying oh why don't you turn them into a book and you know I I can't do that I'm not a writer I'm not an author you know who am I to think I could create a book um, but uh, it kind of always stuck in my mind that thought and that kind of idea that they they'd given me and um, uh, funnily enough life had a very interesting way of, of sort of trying to um, speak to me as it were because um, as soon as I'd recovered from the depression so this was like two years later I suddenly de developed um, repetitive strain injury from my um, office job 
and I had to um, resign and I couldn't use a computer anymore because I'd, I'd sort of damaged my central nervous system from, from using the computer all the time. And I was suddenly left like, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? So that's when my friend said to me again, you know, do this, you know, create a book. So, so I did, and I started illustrating the, the book and I did it all by hand. Um, so that whole book is handwritten because I didn't want to um, use a computer. And I started illustrating it with little cartoon characters. And then, um, the lovely thing that, that sort of happened after that was um, I, I decided to self-publish the book. It, it got rejected by publishers and then I, I started selling it at a stall on um, Portobello Road Market. And it really sort of took off. Um, so as I say, here's the, the book again, May the Thoughts Be With You. And um, just to quickly show you like some, an idea of what's inside. It's kind of like little messages. I don't know if you can see that okay, but it's like little cartoon characters and um, you know just positive messages to keep you inspired and um, the book really took off and uh, I would get sort of lots of messages from people who were suffering from depression and saying you know your story has given me hope that I can get better and you know you used to be in a really dark place and 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 now um, you know you've got you've got well so maybe I could too and I think that's that, that that's the kind of message I'm trying to sort of get across is that when you're going through depression, you can't think of anything else other than how bad and how horrible and how ill you feel. And you can't even b begin to believe that there is a life beyond your condition. But um, I'm hoping that my recovery shows, shows that there is, because now I have you know, gone on to, to, to make a recovery and feel so much better than, than I used to do. And um, it's, it's, I think it's all about um, sort of surrendering almost to the experience and sorry about that, um, trying not to resist the, um, the, what you're going through. And um, I think that, um, yeah, I think that basically there, there is light at the end of the tunnel and, and I hope that um, it, it kind of gives you that, you know, that hope. Um, so I just wanted to mention as well um, that um, to, I thought it would be a good idea to explain to you how I maintain my uh, mental health on a daily basis because uh, now I've come through the other side, I have to do actually do things to, to keep me on an even keel as it were. And um, so I um, make sure that I stick to a very healthy diet and I still um, have cut out sugar and caffeine. I drink very little alcohol these days and I still exercise um, very frequently, so at least five days a week. And I also have this mantra about not having any um, pressure um, on myself and sort of just allowing myself to, to, to be in the moment and, uh, and allow myself to feel what I'm feeling and not sort of try and judge my feelings and, and try and keep keep sort of positive and, and think you know about things in a sort of more objective way ra rather than subjective almost like I'm a witness of my own thoughts as opposed to being taken over by them and that really kind of helps um, and yeah I think that's all I wanted to say really just just those tips and just to let you know that if you are really struggling then it's very important that you do get help and you do reach out and tell someone um, if you don't feel you can tell your um, family or friends then please go to your doctor or even if that's too scary then then ring the Samaritans or, or somebody it's that it's that first step that you need to take to actually get help because you know mental ill health is not something that you can tackle on your own you do need support and that's like my, my sort of crucial takeaway kind of advice as it were um, just to quickly mention before I go uh, if anyone is interested my latest book my path to happy which is actually my illustrated memoir all about my struggle with depression and how i got better um is out now um it's it was just released like two two weeks ago um but it's just you know a whole sort of um storybook about the the actual um recovery process so that might be of interest to people um if they want to to have a look at that and just see in more detail what i did to to get better and um, I think that's it really. And I'll have a look through all the comments. Sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry. I was very nervous to do this 
video. Um, I've only ever done one of these once before, so I'll look through the comments now and then uh, try and respond to them uh, once I've gone offline. Um, but yeah, I hope hope this was useful. Um, I hope there's some takeaway advice that you've managed to to gain from this, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.